Kevin Jackson Radio Show. What's up, America? It's the Kevin Jackson Show. Glad you're with me. You know who this is. You didn't just stumble upon the show. Somebody tipped you off, or you've been following me for a long time, and you like what you hear, and we appreciate it. We really do. It's it's not just me. I say we a lot because it's a team of folks that make this happen. KJRadio.com is where you can find us on the internet, or you can contact us by phone at 844-551-8255. So the big news, we've had Hurricane Harvey wreaked havoc in Texas. We're still recovering from that. And on the heels of that comes Irma. And they're saying this could be the worst thing ever. So Katrina, horrible. Harvey, pretty bad. Now Irma, they're saying maybe bigger than Katrina. Who knows? And some leftists came out and said, why are they naming the female hurricanes? The, you know, why are they the worst? The female hurricanes, it's like a sexist thing. And I'm going, you can't please them. You can't please the left. If every hurricane were named after a dude, a white dude, you know, John, Bill, or Bob, or whatever, there'd be something else. You're just complaining. I mean, can we just not worry about the names of hurricanes and worry about the outcome, the destruction? People in Houston, Texas are still trying to recover, and the left are concerned about the names of hurricanes. Black folks, Sheila Jackson Lee, was mad that hurricanes didn't get black names. Why can't they name hurricanes Jaquan and Deshaun and Shaniqua and all? I mean, that's just ridiculous. <sighs> oh, drives me crazy. Anyway, Irma has the potential to be one of the worst hurricanes in history. And my heart goes out to to these folks. And it, we face it every year. And what's funny about this is when you think about it in the context of global climate change and global warming and all that is America, we are uh, we have the most tornadoes in the, of anywhere in the world. And we know why they hit in the in the uh, flat areas of the country, Texas, Kansas, et cetera, Alabama. They make a swath through there and we have tornado season. We have hurricane season and I don't know how long you've been alive, but it's been the same way every year of my life. I've never missed a tornado or a hurricane season. The only thing we talk about is how many tornadoes, how many hurricanes. Was it a big season for hurricanes or was it just a little one? Was it a big season for tornadoes or was it a little one? And then what the left does is they take the data and they go, ooh, well, look at this. It was the bet worst season for hurricanes ever. It must be global climate change. And then, of course, it's answerable by El Nino or La Nina or some other weather pattern that if you go back far enough in the years and you look at the tilt of the earth and the, the way the tide is and the sun flares and all that, you figure out it's just regular old stuff. It's, it's the universe doing what it does. We don't control it. We don't influence it. Right now, you won't, you won't believe this, but it's true. There are people who are saying that the government is creating these hurricanes in order to get rid of brown people and black people like hurricanes are indiscriminate. Or I should say discriminate. <laughs> That's what I meant. You know what I meant? That hurricanes can go seek out brown and black people as if a tsunami were to hit the beach. And the only person when the when the tide went back out, the only people who would be left on the beach would be white folks. There are people that believe this nonsense, <laughs> guys. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sad to tell you it is a strange world out there in so many ways. So we've got all these people that are in the line of fire. And instead of focusing on the humanity of it and how we can help, people are focusing on issues and creating issues where there are none. And. What's funny, too, no, it's not funny. Thankfully, Rick Scott is not doing what Houston did. And he's saying, look, I don't know where this hurricane is going to end up, but it looks like it's coming to Florida. So I say evacuate. And of course, there's the price gouging on gas. But look, you can call it gouging. You have capitalists who say, look, I've only got a limited amount of gasoline now. 
and I'm going to be out of commission for the better part of what? How long have they been out of commission in Houston? Weeks? I mean, it's, I mean, I don't, it's only going to be a, it's only been a week or so, but they're talking about Houston's going to take a year to rebuild. Well, businesses are going to let's say you're out of business for a month. You've got to get the money to run your business in a month in less than a few days. And they're calling it gouging. They're not they, they you know, theoretically don't let the trucks in when all these uh, when, you know, natural disaster because they don't want these big. 18 wheelers away from their families stuck in Florida during a hurricane. I get it, but they're relaxing the rules now to say, no, not only can they come, they can bring more than what they're, what we normally would let them transport. So they're breaking all the rules that allow for, they call it for safety, but they're breaking the rules to allow people to get products to people cheaper and faster because it's hurricane season. Why can't these rules be relaxed in the regular time? That's, it goes to say, oh, well, it's a safety issue, Kevin. No, well, you know, you, oh, so we can relax safety issues in the time of emergency that may or may not be an emergency. And it'll prove that the trucks can carry the loads. Just a, it, it's a racket. <laughs> but anyway, Governor Scott is saying, get out. And people are getting out. They're not taking the Houston tact and going, oh, no, it'll be okay. We're going to hunker down. You can't just hunker down when you're at sea level. You got to take this stuff seriously. And I know it's an inconvenience, but it's hurricane season. It, it isn't like it's something new. It happens every year. And, yes, it could be a false alarm or it could be a Katrina. Anyway, there's a lot more to talk about with this and a ton of other stuff. Al Gore, what's funny, you're talking about global warming. His new book is lagging in sales. And in fact, it's being outsold on Amazon Kindle by an ebook that debunks his claims that were made in an inconvenient sequel, the movie that flopped. Climatologist Roy Spencer offered it, authored rather an ebook called An Inconvenient Deception to critique the bad science and some just blatant lies by Gore and his movie. And it ranks higher in Amazon's Kindle store. So that should give you a lot of information right there in a little capsule. Anyway, we got tons to talk about, folks. Keep it here. We'll be back. And hopefully not in the line of fire that hurricane. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 